Let's read source 3 for the Middle East investigation. The source is titled The Geographer's Middle East. Our central question, which is our purpose for reading this source, is how should we define the Middle East as a region? Now let's read the attribution and then the headnote to find out what type of source this is, who wrote it, and when it was written. Attribution. Adapted text from the book Is There a Middle East? The Evolution of a Geopolitical Concept, published in 2012, from the chapter of Maps and Regions, Where is the Geographer's Middle East? by Michael Bonin. Headnote. The source is from a book about the different meanings of the Middle East. The author, Dr. Michael Bonin, was a professor of geography and Near Eastern Studies at the University of Arizona. He was also executive secretary of the Middle East Studies Association from 1981 to 1989. MESA promotes the study of the Middle East and its members come from around the world. Let's pause here. Take a moment to answer these questions about the headnote and attribution in your packet. So pause and come back when you're ready. Okay, now let's read the source. Let's read from this book by Michael Bonin. The Middle East is a region because its environment is mainly arid which means dry and semi-arid. This is the largest dryland region in the world. However, the Middle East is also a region of cities and urban societies. There is an important relationship in the region between city, agriculture, and nomadism. Some people think the Middle East is the same as Islam, but most Muslims of the world now live outside the Middle East and North Africa. However, this region is the historic core of Islam, and it is also an area where Islam is still the main re religion. Oil also is part of the Middle East as a region. Some states have it and others do not. However, as a region, the Middle East has more than two-thirds of the world's oil and most of its natural gas. No other area of the world has as much of this valuable resource. Finally, the region is home to people of different ethnic groups who speak different languages. Arab Semitic, Iranic and Turkic peoples. There are also many minority groups within the Middle East. Okay, now go back and read the source yourself. And pause after each sentence to find sentences that begin with transition words or introductory phrases. And think what key ideas come after these transition words or introductory phrases. <laughs> 